The COVID-19 pandemic has taught us the importance of science in informing public policy, but it's also shed light in the importance of science in finding solutions for the problems we are facing right now and the unknown challenges of our near and distant future. How do we find the solutions to these challenges? And how do we, as humanity, know what we don't know, that we don't even know, we don't know, we don't know? The answer lies in the ability to conduct research that is innovative, creative and relevant so that we are better prepared for the world of unknown unknowns. My lab tries to understand why some people get allergies while others don't. We have found out that this could be due to our genes or the allergens themselves, be it dust mites, cockroaches and even food. By better understanding of common and unique allergens in Malaysia, my students and I aim to develop new ways to treat and manage allergies. My lab is actively involved in the research activity that are in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal by using and developing new, green and safe alternative processes and chemicals. My students and I are interested in addressing the issues of plastic pollution and including reducing microplastic in the food we eat. Unlike my other colleagues, I do most of my work in jungles trying to conserve Malaysia's biodiversity. The whole of Malaysia is in fact my lab. Our students are exposed to the wonders of Malaysian plants and animals, why they're important and how we can reduce the threats to our biodiversity and the impact on our economy and health. One of my projects includes understanding how our king of fruits, the durian, is pollinated by animals such as bats across the country. All our current lives are focused on combating COVID-19. But 32 million people have died of HIV AIDS since the start of the outbreak in the 80s. And today, we still have almost 40 million HIV cases worldwide. How are we addressing it at Sunway? One is through developing vaccines and the other through creating new antiviral drugs. My students and I are testing a range of different chemical complexes to test for their ability to kill the HIV virus. You've probably heard about the threat of superbug. These are bacteria that are untreatable because they're resistant to antibiotics. At Sunway New University, our students explore and develop new antibacterial drugs. My students and I are currently testing a range of natural products and synthetic compounds that can effectively silence the threat of these superbugs. Our group is particularly interested in viruses such as dengue and influenza and we try to design antiviral drugs and vaccines against these viruses by looking at their three-dimensional structures. By combining computer modeling and simulation with experimental assays, we are able to understand the structure and life cycle of the virus. With this greater understanding, my students and I aim to develop novel and innovative medical interventions against these viruses. My students and I are engaged in various aspects of neuroscience research, such as one, cellular modeling to improve the understanding of neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Two, screening of neuroprotective agents from plants and herbs that can protect our brain cells, the neurons, from death and degeneration. The third one, identifying biomarkers of ageing in human subjects and developing different interventions that can promote healthy ageing within our community. My research interests include the evolution and adaptation of coral algae to environmental stress, as well as the production of commercially interesting proteins from genetically engineered algae. In my lab, students learn to use and develop new techniques to manipulate microalgae to produce custom molecular compounds and protein products, as well as to study the impact of climate change on one of the major foundation stones of our global ecosystem. My students and I work on topics related to nature conservation. Some species such as sun bears and otters are declining because they have lost habitat and they are overhunted. Some species are expanding because we have moved them to other regions where they have no predators or competitors. They become pests. We use a combination of lab work focusing on population genetics and field work focusing on population ecology to collect data. At the School of Medical and Life Sciences at Sunway University, through our various biological and medical sciences programs, we immerse our students into a research-intensive environment so that our graduates not only have the technical know-how, but also the curiosity and the innovative capacity to develop new ideas and solutions. The Sunway Education Group has invested millions of ringgit to equip our world-class research and teaching laboratories with state-of-the-art equipments, 
lots of space for physical distancing, and more importantly, fantastic academic faculty who are dedicated towards inspiring and nurturing our students to truly develop their potential as biotechnologists, biomedical scientists, and even bioentrepreneurs. Our students will have first-hand experience in touching, feeling, and using various types of equipments and facilities. And more importantly, generate and interpret experimental data that can be translated into solutions. From identifying new classes of drugs and vaccines and determining new ways to diagnose and determine risk more effectively, to supporting the sustainable agenda in ensuring that as we protect our health and well-being, we also protect the environment that ultimately supports our existence. Our laboratory facilities and academic faculty who collaborate with researchers from the University of Cambridge, University of Oxford and Harvard University as well as many others across the world are testament to Sunway University's commitment to providing you with a world-class experience and an education that truly shapes your future.